Hi, this is Dr. Bernard Beldholm, and in this video we're going to talk about the recovery from a fleur de lis uh, abdominoplasty. A fleur de lis uh, tummy tuck is for patients with extreme amount of loose skin in the abdomen after weight loss mainly. It removes the skin. Uh, more skin than the regular uh, tummy tuck, mainly in the middle and lower abdomen, as well as the mons area. Fleur de lis is uh, French for a water lily. It refers to the pattern of skin excision used uh, for the fleur de lis tummy tuck. Uh, and the fleur de lis tummy tuck leaves a vertical as well as a horizontal scar. The horizontal cut removes the excess skin from the upper abdomen as well as the lower abdomen. The vertical uh, cut removes this excess skin from the middle. Uh, when I uh, bring the skin together and suture it close, it creates a narrow waistline. Uh, and the operation takes about four to six hours to do. I do include vasoliposculpture as well uh, in my fleur de lis tummy tucks. Um, now, if you're thinking about the fleur de lis tummy tuck, you may be wondering what the recovery is like, and that's why I've gone through this video to go through and, and let you know what to expect from your recovery of a fleur de lis abdominoplasty. Day one, uh, as with most operations, is going to be the toughest day. You'll have a catheter, you'll have um, tubes, you'll have squeezy things on your calves. Uh, it will be difficult to get out of bed. It will be quite difficult the first day. The second day is usually a lot better. Day three to four, uh, depending on how you go, you may go home to the, from hospital, but most of my patients stay uh, a little bit longer than that. You will have pico dressings, which is a suction dressing, so you can't get the boxes wet, which means that you'll have a bird bath type wash down in that uh, time. At day one to seven, you're bending over slightly um, and you'll um, have quite a bit of swelling in the abdomen from the liposuction areas as well as the operation areas. Day seven to nine, I remove the pico dressing and replace it with hypofix tape, generally in the office, but it can happen in, uh, in the hospital if you're still staying, which is unusual to stay that long in hospital. Day 10, you're walking upright fully. Uh, day 14, uh, you can do a lot more exercise. Now, you have been walking around before that, you can do brisk walking before that, so you can sort of start doing a little bit uh, more uh, from there, from week two. Week two to three uh, is usually when you start driving, and generally, what I suggest, I'll be seeing you in the office anyway but what i usually suggest is you do drive along the block make sure you can reach the pedals and you're not having any pain turning your head now we a uh, month one or four weeks after there is still significant amount of swelling um, you can do more vigorous exercise jogging weights that sort of thing uh, starting at that point Three months after your surgery, you can usually resume all daily activities, exercise without restriction, numbness, um, numbness in the abdomen is starting to subside, everything's starting to get a lot easier. Six to 12 months, so from six months, usually the scars start to fade. Uh, the firmness and the swelling is uh, starting to fade a lot more at that stage. Um, months 12 to 18, uh, you can see your final results. The scar is faded, the swelling is gone, the liposuction areas have a, you know, shape and yeah, it's a much better uh, result at that stage and you finally got there.